What's up, Internet? I'm Kristen Conger of Stuff Mom Never Told You, and it's time for Brain Stuff. Have you ever been up alone late at night, scarfing down some buffalo wings dipped in kimchi and vindaloo, but you fall asleep on the couch and start having these terrible nightmares? Like my recurrent nightmare, for instance, is when I have to run away from something or towards something, and it feels like I'm moving through slow motion goo. It's awful. Why do some foods make us have such weird dreams? Well, so far science has yet to find a direct correlation between certain types of food and how we dream, but an excessive amount of rich nocturnal eating can interrupt your sleep in a variety of ways. For instance, late night snacks both increase your body's metabolism and temperatures, which makes you hot and sweaty, especially if you have a high carbohydrate meal. Ditto if you have a bunch of donuts or candy bars before you pass out. A recent study shows that seven out of 10 people who eat junk food before bed are more likely to have nightmares. These researchers hypothesized that the high levels of sugar led to physical discomfort, which brought the monsters out from under their beds, figuratively speaking. Now, another type of upset stomach that leads to a bad night's sleep is acid reflux. More than a third of Americans have this condition where burning acidic bile comes creeping up your esophagus. Now, if you've ever had this happen, doctors recommend that you don't eat within three hours of bedtime and that you try lifting your head 45 degrees to keep the acid down. Also, you probably shouldn't have citrus, onions, carbonated drinks, mint, alcohol, or cigarettes before you go to sleep. I know, boring, right? There's an interesting food connection between general anxieties and why we sleep poorly. When our bodies are stressed, they flush out the mineral magnesium, which increases our mental burden so we sleep poorly. You can head this off if you eat healthy prior to and during stressful periods. You'll retain some of that magnesium, helping you maintain a normal sleeping pattern. And then there's our old friend insomnia, which can be caused by a variety of food and drinks. For instance, how about meat and other high protein foods. Well, it turns out that protein supplies your brain with the amino acid tyrosine, which makes you more alert. And food high in protein is also usually high in fat, which digests slowly, causing a rumble in the Bronx. If by the Bronx, you mean your belly. That's what I call it, the Bronx. Plus, you remember how carbohydrates bring on the night sweats? Well, they also speed up tryptophan, another amino acid in your brain that actually helps you sleep. So if you don't eat enough carbs before bed, then it's harder to get to sleep. So my recommendation, a small carbohydrate snack in the evening will promote calmness and help you catch some Zs. Now finally, alcohol and caffeine before bed can absolutely make insomnia worse. So no double fisting coffee and beer, and you probably shouldn't drink energy booze drinks like juice for loco or fusion either. In fact, I would recommend staying away from drinks with purposely misspelled names in general as a rule. So there you have it. Food doesn't necessarily give us nightmares, but the uncomfortable feelings that come with eating certain meals can. So what kind of food makes you sleep badly? Habanero chili, maybe some shrimp creole or gobi manchurian? Tell me about it in our YouTube comments or drop us a note on Facebook or Twitter. And if you haven't already, I highly recommend subscribing to our channel and I guarantee you will sleep better at night if you do.